And Coach, how are you? Good morning. How are you? Doing just fine. Uh, Jackson State's coming off of a, a convincing win over the weekend, uh, beating Prairie View 34-13 to uh, in come-from-behind fashion. And this weekend, um, Jackson State is on the road against Arkansas Pine, Pine Bluff, and that is our SWAC TV uh, game of the week. Coach, your reflections on last week's game against Prairie View and your preparation going into the game this week against UAPB. Well, um, you know, I, I, it was a hard-fought battle. You know, we didn't score really until uh, the second half, and uh, they were up on us, um, ten nothing going into halftime, and they were playing good, pretty good football. And um, you know, I'm just glad that we were able to come back out in the second half and and, and make some big plays from a defensive point of view, uh, you know, and offensive standpoint of view. We made some interceptions, which we haven't had in a while, and then we were able to run the football. Um, very, very well, which we haven't done in a while. And I'm just hoping that, um, you know, with those two things happening, getting some turnovers and things of that nature, that they continue and that we continue um, getting better as a team with our special teams and um, trying to put all three phases together is what we're trying to do right now. And um, we're, we're working hard at it. You know, we're, st we're sticking with it. Um, the guys are working. Um, you know, the, the players want to get better. Well, we want to get better. Um you know, we like to try to get down that road, you know, a piece and, you know, winning and, and see, you know, how successful we can be. Um, the team coming up, um, uh, uh, Pine Bluff, you know, they're a tough football team. Uh, uh, they're, you know, they're 2-1 they're and one in the conference, and I guess we're about the same records now within the conference itself. And, and um, you know, we're both going to be out after the same thing after a win, and, they're running the ball well. They got two great backs. The offensive line's blocking well. Um, you know, the quarterback seems to be um, able to, um, you know, you know, uh, handle both pass and run. You know, doing his job very well defensively. Um, they're they're all around the football. They're you know they're fast. They're quick. And coach really has them going out there. You know, they you know they get a chance to sleep in their own beds Friday. And um, you know we got to travel that road. So. You know, we just got to find a way to get ourselves ready to go because I know, um, you know, we, you know, it's going to be a real tough game out there, and so um, I can't wait to get there. Um, uh, you know, we, you know, to see, you know, which way this team is going to go now. Um, are we going to move forward or are we going to take a step back? Um, I'm anxious to see that. So um, it just remains to be seen. It's time to roll our sleeves up and go to work here, so that we can, um, you know, make this run down the road. All right, Coach, uh, questions for Coach Rick Cummingy from Jackson State. Hey, Rick, this is Travis with the Clarion Ledger. How are you? Hey, Travis, how are you? I'm good. Hey, real quick, any update on Clayton Moore's uh, situation? Uh, he's fine. You know, he's very fine right now. I saw him yesterday. He just had a little bruise. Uh, we thought we were glad to hear that. He came in and uh, to the meeting yesterday, just came from the doctor's office, pretty happy, and we were happy about that as well. So he's he clear to play this week? Yes. And what about Zion Pyatt? Zion Pyatt, you'll be ready to go as well. Okay. And if you could just talk about that, that running game, and, and I guess specifically the, the way the offensive line really opened up some holes. Uh, you have to be pleased with that. Moving I forward. was very pleased with the offensive line. Um, I've been pushing to run the football a little bit more all year long, and I'm kind of glad it rained, you know, to prove that, you know, that, you know, we can, we can run the football. we got some good backs, and we just hadn't, uh, been using them um, as much as we should have been using them, and I think uh, um, you got to have a running game if you're going to win. If you're going to win football games and try to get to the end of this thing, you got to be able to run the football. <clears throat> and I'm just glad that our offensive coordinator and the coach on offense can see that we got a couple guys that can really tote that ball as well as now come back with throwing the football. I think we'll be uh, we we can balance it off pretty good for ourselves now. Thanks. Sir. More questions for Coach Kamaji? Yeah, Coach Kamaji, this is uh, Roscoe Nance. Hey, how Roscoe, you how you doing? I'm good. Um, one of the things about Pine Bluff's uh, offense is their balance uh, between the run and the pass. Uh, Very much so. Talk about the problems that poses. Well, you know, you just got to be ready because, um, you know, they – you know they they they're very very balanced. Um, they got a great offensive attack. Uh, they'll come at you in a lot of different ways. They'll spread you out, and um, you know they'll move around on you a little bit. You know, but you know they get speed to get on the perimeter. They got strength to get up inside, 
and um, the guy can get the ball where he needs to get it. And so, um, you know, it does pose a problem. You just got to play sound, solid defense and always stay heads up for um, what's coming at you. I think you, know, you got to look for the bomb every now and then because he's going to, you know, play action and put it up there and uh, they're going to run some zone stretch as well, you know. So, you know, they propose a problem because the offensive line seems to be, um, you know, the key to them. You know, they block very, very well. Well, talk about the quarterback and the job that he does kind of, you know, managing this and controlling. He does manage that team very, very well. You know, he um, if it's not there, he's going to take off and run and try to hurt you. You know, he does a great job of managing, does a great job of um, looking to the sideline, getting his checks. If he's not checking himself, you know, they – they look to the sideline, and the guys upstairs are doing a good job of putting the right plays in at the right time. And um, so, they, you know, they got a good mixture of, you know, cut back and did different type of things. You know, they're you know they're a good football team. You know, they are a good football team and a good offense. And uh, I know last year they they ran on us for about two hundred some yards. And so, you know, it's a concern. You know, we we just hope that we're better we're a better football team today than we were a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we're ready for what, what's coming at us. You know, I, I just believe that we're a better football team than we were a few weeks ago. Okay, Coach, thanks. Thank you. Coach, talk about the job that uh, Tommy Gooden had, uh, did this weekend, uh, rushing for 135 yards and touchdown. Tommy Gooden has always been an explosive back, a good back for us, hard runner. And, um, you know, he um, kind of was um, – you know, uh, set aside a little bit because, you know, we're trying to throw the football and trying to put some guys in a game that um, that can get down the field and catch the football maybe a little bit better. We five here and five there. But, you know, we're kind of settling back now to the type of offense that, I, you know, I like to run, and that's uh, put some big backs back there and bang at you and come at you with some play action and do some, you know, you know good old rock and sock and football rather than, you know, trying to always be so that – Design pool, you know, in the passing game. Uh, even though I know we need it, um, you know, and it's there for us, and, I, and if we practice it, I, I just want to make sure that we're that we can do both. You know, we can run when we need to and throw if it's necessary and do those type of things. Coach Kamaji, Luke Williams from the Black College Sports Page. Who uh, starts at quarterback this week? Well, right now, um, you know, we're going to you know we're going to look at film. Um, I'm going to talk with the offensive coach this morning. Uh, we got in real early. Uh, just looking at breaking down film. We haven't made any position or personnel uh, changes just yet. You know, we're going to talk about that, you know, as soon as we finish breaking film down. And then we'll go out, you know, because the kids are in study table today. So we'll, then we'll make all those decisions um, before, the, before the evening's out. And more, and more went out Saturday because what happened? Um, he got hit. It hurt his, it hurt his, uh, his uh, I think it was his shoulder. And his, um, not his throwing arm, but the opposite shoulder. And, and so we didn't know. We took him out, got him to the doctor real quick, and so real quick. And so right now we came in yesterday. It looks like he's fine. And so uh, I'm going to talk to Coach uh, this morning about what he's feeling, what they're thinking from an offensive standpoint of view, and then we'll make that final decision. But McDonald's healthy. I liked what McDonald did. I like what McDonald drove the team down and did a fantastic job when he came back in in the second half. And you know he's the guy that was instrumental in putting points on the board and was the guy that was getting us in the end zone and scoring a touchdown himself. He played good football for us. And so, um, you know, I have no qualm about who we, you know, who we start at this time because I really believe that McDonald um, um, grew up himself in that game. I think he saw something about himself that um, that he knew that he needed to step up and do the job, and he really did. More questions for Coach Comagee? Coach, going into halftime, as you mentioned earlier, um, Prairie View was uh, controlling things. You were down 10 to nothing. What was the turning point um, coming out of the locker room where you exploded for the 20 points in the third? Well, I think, um, you know, we got a little spark out of uh, Moore when he came in, uh, he running the football, driving the ball a little bit down the field. And I just think, you know, they came out determined. I don't know if it was more and more as the kids came out more determined to, to, um, to, to win. You know, I mean, uh, it was a game that we – couldn't knew we couldn't drop. Uh, we you know we had all these fumbles. We had six fumbles. You know, dropping the football in the rain and early in the game. You know, we you know we just won play well. We couldn't get a handle of the ball, throwing the ball high. You know, when receivers and you know um, you know and, and that downpour. But 
Um, they settled down in the second half, and we started running the football a little bit more. I think the turning point is when we started getting some big runs out of Tommy and hitting up inside with Rakeem Sims. And, you know, I think um, and, and, and we started pounding the football. I think that became a turning point. And I don't know if either quarterback was in there, if that turning point would, you know, the same thing would have happened because we discovered that, you know, we could run on them. And so once we did that, we made, we went ahead and just continued running the football. And then defense started coming up with some big plays. Cox on the corner grabbed two interceptions. We grabbed four interceptions overall, you know, in the second half. And so, you know, those things kind of turned the game around. Block punt for a touchdown and things like that. So, you know, um, you know, big plays started happening on our side for the first time. 